So we're back at the dashboard. I'd like to go over our pipeline summary and rejected documentation. Okay, it's really important that we have all the documents necessary when we submit to the lender. So we're here at the dashboard, as you can see. I would uh, uh, scroll down, and we're going to go into the pipeline summary. Simply click it. As you can see, of course, you have your pipeline summary here. You also have leads with oldest contact. Those are the leads that haven't been touched in a while. So it's kind of good to know that uh, so you can follow up. Most importantly, applications with rejected documents. Let's say you're going through the back office and, um, you know, for some reason you forgot to submit a certain document. Well, that particular client or lead will display here. You'll see the client name and number of rejected documents. You can click there and it'll take you directly to that particular client, homeowner, or lead, and you'll be notified of what documents are still needed. This is really important. Okay, The system is designed so that you can submit all the appropriate documentation and have uh, direct correspondence with processing. So we're really trying to limit the, uh, you know, the possibility of missing documents. So please make note of this. It's just a really, really crucial to the whole process flow. Check it out every day. If you have a client in there, if you just submitted an application, make sure that you have all your documents. Okay, we're now going to move into the loan modification process flow. It's good to understand how the homeowner is going to work through the system for a loan modification. Okay, this is designed so that you can keep the client or homeowner updated accordingly. The process flow starts out at the lead stage. <clears throat> this is a potential customer that fills out the uh, pre-qualification form or has expressed interest in getting their loan modification. So this is pretty much the initial contact. We're gathering some basic data, you know, talking about their mortgage, how far past due are you. We'll talk a little bit about financials and just gathering that, that, that basic information to see if they're a good candidate for a loan modification. Now moving into the application stage, this is a potential customer that has been determined as a good candidate for a loan modification. So during this phase of the process, the complete application will be taken. Information is recorded, documentation is submitted, etc. Okay, once we have what we think is or should be a complete package, the uh, file then goes into manager review. This is like a double check. So after the agent has taken the complete application, the customer's application is passed to the agent's manager. Now during this phase, the manager will review the application and verify that there are no issues prior to submission. This is a, almost like a double check. And, um, you know, you want to make sure that all documents are there, all stipulations are met, and then we will move forward. As you can see, this is the process at Affiliate. Uh, this is where you're going to be in the game. Once we move into quality control, okay, it's now going to go into more of a formal processing stage. And during quality control, once again, the application you know, is going to be checked. They go through and make sure that the application has all the verified income statements. Um, if not, it's simply passed back to the affiliate. You know, let's say we're missing a couple pages <coughs> from a bank statement. Uh, it's going to come back to the, the agent. So we're checking things out again to make sure that before it goes to processing, we have everything we need. Once we uh, pass quality control, we move into the processing phase. The processor will work the application to get it in the best state to be sent to the bank seeking an approval. During this phase, the processor may determine that additional documentation is required and reach out to the customer's agent to facilitate this. So once we enter processing, we're going ahead and doing all the calculations for, for finances, making sure that all the documentation is um, no stage before we move into the actual submittal to the lender. So processing is complete, then we go ahead and submit to the lender. 
So once the processor has gotten the application in a state that can be submitted to the bank, the application is moved to the submitted phase. During this phase, the processor will work with the bank to get the application approved. During this phase, the bank may ask for additional documentation. The processor is going to work with the agent to get these documents from the customer. So, once it's submitted, we're seeing that a lot of times the uh, homeowner will be put into a trial period. And what happens during this phase is the bank will require the customer to meet the modified loan terms over a trial period. Now, this is simply for them to verify that the customer will be able to make the payments. So keep in mind, always let your, your homeowners know, there may be a trial period, who knows, three to five months. You just never know, every lender is different. So once they make it through the trial period, we move into final submittal. After the trial period has expired, the application is submitted to the bank for final approval for a loan modification. During this phase, the bank may require additional or updated documentation to verify the customer still meets these requirements. Now, we're getting it closed. So once the application has been approved by the bank, the application is going to be closed, pretty much. <laughs> At this point, the loan modification has been accepted by the bank, and the customer should be mo notified of the success. So we did our job. The homeowner stays in their home, and uh, we, all, we all walk away happy. Now, do keep in mind, I just want to make a, a, a serious point here, that at any, any point during the loan modification process flow, a file can end up canceled. Keep that in mind. So that is the loan modification process flow. As you can see, you can print this out for your own personal reference. And um, we do wish you success. So once again, loan modification process flow.